All right then, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you why forgiveness is one of the best, if not the best, emotional investment that you can take and make today. So unforgiveness is truly um, a prison of resentment, a prison of um, so many negative emotions that sort of give us this mental arousal. Us not forgiving people gives us this sense of pride that, that says, you know what, that, that was bad. You know, what, what they did was, was obviously bad, should never have happened. And of course, we have the right to say that. We do have the right to say that person wronged me. That person did something that, you know, should never have been done. I'm the victim of the situation. And why that's okay to say is because it's true. But what's not okay to say, and what I think is an even bigger injustice, is not forgiving that person. Now, this is one of the, you know, biggest difficulties. If it almost feels wrong, like as a Christian, I'm taught to love my enemies. I'm taught to bless, bless those who curse me. Put my, you know, um, if my enemy slaps me on one cheek, I'm supposed to offer him the other. Just seems wrong. Just seems like incredibly counterintuitive, but the Bible says that we will actually hump, hump is that the right word? We will actually lump coals of shame onto those people's head, heads to say that it will lump coals of shame onto their head, heads by the fact that they can see that we are truly, obviously we, we don't pretend that we are not affected by it, but we have it in our hearts to forgive them because we know it is in an even greater injustice not only to them, but to ourselves, to keep in this resentment, this unforgiveness. Isn't it just such a paradox of how we sort of gain this mental arousal by saying, yes, he did me wrong. Yes, she did me wrong. And of course it's true, we have every right to say that, but we don't have the right to not forgive. You know? There's another verse, you know, if you don't forgive your fellow man, God won't forgive you. Um, i trying to think of something else I was going to say about forgiveness. Yeah, unforgiveness is truly... Um, sorry, forgiveness is truly a liberator of a resentful heart. Now, living with a resentful heart is not fun. It's not nice. It makes life more difficult. It makes life not enjoyable. It victimizes yourself. And of course, there's things that some people have gone through with absolutely awful, terrible stories. Not, you know, things, you know, just unspeakable actions. And I won't be surprised if it takes some people a long time to be able to forgive someone and that's understandable. But once we truly let that pressure go, we can now start to live freely and, act, and express ourselves more freely. But it's sort of strange. We sort of gain this mental arousal and this pride with saying that, yes, he did me wrong. And as I say, you know, for, I've repeated this a few times, and yes, I will, you know, you know obviously say that, you know, it, it is true. But holding resentful, Feelings in your heart doesn't do anything. It may give you some, you know, those strange, those those good feelings that are, you know, sort of prideful feelings to say that, yeah, you know, he was wrong, I was right. When really, we should, we should sort of be flabbergasted by the fact that God forgives us. You know, you know, the Bible says the heart is deceitfully wicked. Who can know it? You know, sort of a strange thing. Um, well, I don't really like to call it strange, but the sort of the dynamic of the gospel, it says how we are sinners by nature. We are born in a, in a world of sin, of, of you know, the, the curse of sin from the fall of Adam and Eve. And how... We have inherited this sinful nature. And so it would be wrong to assume that we are just born with this good nature to do good things to everyone. We know truly inside we have 
a bad nature that's more natural to the human you know human inclinations human desires it's more natural to us it's more natural for men to go out and spread their seed that's a, now obviously that's a video for another time <laughs> why would god give me this urge and this desire you know it's um that's another video for another time <laughs> But um, yeah, lots of questions. I, I want to explore this. But the premise of this video, guys, forgive. It can be probably one of the one of the hardest, if not the ha hardest, thing to do. When there are people in my life that I've stopped talking to, that I've cut out, that I may may have fallen out with, and I say to myself, yeah, they were, you know, they they were wrong, and I have these thoughts sometimes of resent you know just re resentfulness and it induces these negative feelings in me when truly when we look at the state of humankind and the truth of the gospel and our lord and savior jesus christ it is really truly a miracle how any of us are forgiven at all let that sink in guys that's about it hope you've enjoyed this video um, I think I'm going to be doing more videos in my car. I bought a car. I passed my uh, driving test. So you'll see those videos soon. God bless and uh, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.